Hey guys, I'm Rohit Arora from Gizbot and today we are at the Qualcomm event in New Delhi where the chip maker has announced its winners for the 2016 Qualcomm Design in India Challenge. So the program was, was funded in 2015 in the association with NASCOM and uh, out of 10, 3 winners have been awarded with a prize money of Rs 100,000 USD dollars. Besides, the company also talked about its plans to expand the uh, innovation and the innovation ideas for the year 2017. So we have with us the winners itself, the startups Karna Technologies, iFuture Robotics and the Uncanny Vision. Let's hear from them, their ideas, their plans for 2017 and the technology that they have worked out. Let's get started. Robotics, we develop Arc Robot. So Arc Robot, as you can see, is an industrial robot which has two axis arms as well as uh, wheels for navigation. So it uses flow markers. It can move to any location in the warehouse and it can pick all any of these containers containing many products. So the products can be anything from groceries to clothing to spare parts and that can be then moved out of the warehouse very efficiently. And uh, Arc Robot also uses a lot of computing and data analytics to understand which product is frequently sold so that it can be relocated to a nearby place. So as season changes, trends changes, the entire warehouse is dynamically arranging itself for best efficiency. And what's your plan for the year 2017? Or do you plan to improve this or bring some new updates in the robot? Yeah, so the current model serves small parts that can fit into these size of containers. Okay. In 2017, we plan to launch another product which is for heavy lifting and for larger parts that can cater to a lot more industries. Currently, we have some customers who we are going to go and start deploying these products now. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Mohan and this is my colleague Pushkar, the founders of Karnao Technologies. What we've built is a smart bike platform that connects your bike to your phone and lets you manage the security and performance directly from a tap of a button. So it's basically a, a hardware device that you plug onto the battery of your bike and then all of a sudden you get all of this rich information about your bike. Like for example, where is it? If it gets towed away, you get an alert. If you're ever involved in an accident, then it sends out a distress signal to all of your friends and family who you've selected. And apart from that, in performance, it tells you what your mileage is like. How are you driving that's impacting your mileage? And also you can do fun stuff like track and record all of your road trips and share it with social media on your, uh, share it with friends on social media. So it's like a complete bike, uh, smart bike system that you can access from your phone directly. So does it send any emergency uh, signal to a, to your contact person? It does. So if you're involved in an accident, you initially select three emergency contacts and if something untoward were to happen, then you send out an emergency signal. Okay. So is it available in the market right now? It's not yet available okay. we're looking to launch in six months but in the however, next we have month. something very similar for cars that we started off at first okay. which we are launching to market now so that's already available and how do you plan to sell it on like online or offline yeah, so online is one channel but also looking to tie up with different, different dealerships as well as b2b partners to bring it to market b2b partners okay so uh, that's how we are looking to go thank you so much Ranjit and Navani with uh, Uncanny Vision. So this is our uh, prototype of our uh, Uncanny surveillance solution running on a camera. So basically the idea is to provide smarter surveillance using artificial intelligence. So this is a very high-end camera and all the software that you're going to see is running on the camera where it's able to continuously look at video and tell what action people that somebody is there, what action they are performing. So it's telling somebody standing, walking, somebody is trying to steal. Immediately the software recognizes this girl has fallen down and immediately the alert level goes up and then an unexpected action alert gets into the cloud. Here somebody is, again, this is normal because they are just standing or walking and uh, any type of uh, unexpected actions that you see will get uh, prompted. So here uh, again, another threat scenario, somebody is waving her hands, immediately the software recognizes and sends an alert through the cloud. So here is Microsoft Azure okay. cloud integration and sends an email, location, uh, what is So that? is this system already available in the market used by some uh, ATMs? So we are doing some pilots with okay. a leading uh, a bank in India. Um, so this is another action where somebody is bending down trying to tamper with the infrastructure. So that is also unexpected. Anything other than normal things the bank okay. want to know. So this will generate an alert so somebody can look at it and then decide okay, this is, do we call the police or something. They turn off the ATM, they can decide. We generate the alert. So that's basically the key thing we do. And everything happens on the device. 
So we're doing it using Qualcomm's high-end processing engine. Okay. So this is really compute intensive. Typically that's run on a cloud. Now we're able to do all of it on the device. We can do it on a phone or on, in this case on a camera we're able to do all of this. So do you guys plan to expand this from the beat, uh, basic ATM thing to another CCTV market or? Right. So there are other applications who have been reaching out a lot. Okay. We've started seeing prototypes of this. Yeah. Uh, so we have a customer who's already very interested in elevator monitoring. Elevator, elevator monitoring. Elevator, what's going okay. on. A uh, huge number of elevators. We can also get this into manufacturing uh, Manu plants Manu where one can take care of their employees with the safety feature. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Okay. So a large uh, plant in that uh, steel okay. uh, plant company. Steel plant to, company. Uh, okay. Worker safety, they want to apply this. So there's a lot of interest. So we're first targeting ATM. With the ATM thing and then you can expand to other market as well. Okay. So what's the uh, technology plan? Which uh, processor, processor is used by you? So this is a uh, Snapdragon uh, a chipset that is inside this camera. Okay. So basically similar to what runs on most smartphones. Okay. So this is a high-end Snapdragon device. So uh, we're using all of the compute capabilities of the device. So typically for cell phone use, very basic thing. But here we are using the entire processing of the thing to run these kind of algorithms. So can we get this kind of functionality where one can control the camera and its movements with the help of a smartphone application? Uh, we're not controlling the movement of it. These cameras are usually fixed. Okay. But this is basically, think of it as your eyes in the ATM. Uh -huh. Think of it as you have two lag ATMs, all two lag ATMs hmm. are continuously watching. Okay. So today, uh, the things are recording. The cameras are kind of blind. They yes. record it, they're not analyzing the video. So with this, all these eyes become active uh, and become safe. Thank you so much.